Good morning, Facebook family and my faithful, loyal YouTube subscribers. Today it is March the 15th, 2017. Forgive me, my mustache is a little, um, a little rough looking. Mustache and beard is still growing in and I've been trying, whatever. Let it do what it's supposed to do, so it's kind of rough looking, kind of scraggly today. So, we're going to take some time for it to grow in so I can get some type of shape to it so I can, whatever. So, Yesterday, I had a little conversation on Facebook with a guy named Antonio Wilson and his family members. Antonio Wilson has done a series of posts about a gastric bypass operation that he had. I'm just going to read some of the stuff that he has posted on his Facebook page that is open to the public for thousands of people to see and read. He said he's very open about his life um, and his experience, and he's very open about the operation that he has had. All right, so he's had some severe difficulties with the operation. So I'm going to look back. Let's look at the latest post. Um, and then I'm going to get into my my concerns. And then again, this is just an opinion piece. Um, so just a thought piece for people to think. Uh, so on Monday of this week, um, Antonio Wilson at 5.38 a.m., he posted a post. Good good Monday, everyone. I'm overwhelmed by the many calls and comments from various people's, people. Thank you for all the love and support. I will get through this. I've been asked many times what happened, and I'm not ashamed to tell my story as a testimony as to what God has done on my life. Now, this is his words that he wrote on Monday the 12th or 13th? Monday, uh, this week from his condo in Miami, Florida. If you've been following me or know me, then you know that I am an open book. Now, this is very important. This man has posted this stuff on his Facebook page for everyone to see. He's being open. He says he's an open book. Uh, people. Have, so, so basically, this is an opinion piece. It's just my thoughts about this um, gastric sleeve surgery he had. Just my, my thoughts. Let me read what he wrote. This is very concerning to me because I had a friend who died from a similar operation who should never have had this operation back in the early uh, 2000s. On November, this is again, when Antonio Wilson wrote um, on Monday the 13th, this is what he wrote. On November 29, 2016, I had what you call, what you called a gastric sleeve, gastric sleeve surgery. Basically, this particular surgery is a tool to help you lose weight. Doing surgery, they remove 80% of your stomach. Now, that's what he wrote. Did he have his operation to lose weight? The doctor agreed he had to have... These are questions I'm asking. This man was not overweight in any way. This the surgery is designed for obese, overweight people. This man was not overweight. But he says here... Basically, this particular surgery is a tool to help you lose weight. All right. I went in excited about the procedure and walked out a little disappointed. No regrets, but a little sad. I found out that I was one of the 1% who experienced a leakage. It turned into an abscess that led into having a hole in my esophagus and another one in my stomach. I could have died. That's in his own words. I could have died. That's what he wrote. I could have died. That could have happened. I could have died. That's what he wrote on his Facebook page. I could have died, but because of God, but because of God and mercy, my body immediately realized there was a problem and made a buffer in my stomach to protect the leakage from entering into my stomach. Had it did, I wouldn't be here today. His own words. I wouldn't be here today. What he wrote. I wouldn't be here today. What would have happened? Over the past weeks and months, the hole that's in my esophagus is unwilling to close on its own, and he had this operation over the 29th. We are now in March 15th. Over the past few weeks and months, the hole that's in my esophagus is unwilling to close on its own. This is why I've been on a feeding tube the last two months. On tomorrow, with everyone's prayers, I will undergo a C-scan to see if the hole is closed. I'm trusting and believing that it is. If it is, I can transition into eating food 
which I haven't had anything to eat since November. But if the hole isn't closed, unfortunately, unfortunately, I will have to undergo a major operation, which I'm still scared of, which will result in a gastric bypass, and I will lose more weight. I'm not calming this, what he wrote, what he should say, is I'm not this. I'm not claiming this. I'm asking each of my friends and family and friends on and off Facebook to be in agreement with me that this hole is closed. The Bible says, where well, two or more are gathered in prayer in his name, that, that shall be. Whoever you ask will come to, to light. Let me just say this again. I've never heard this mess before. The Bible says, where there's two or more gathered in prayer in his name, there, there shall he be. Whosoever you ask for will come to light. I believe this. His word doesn't lie. He must do it. All right. So, get some coffee. Why am I doing this video? Why am I asking these questions? This is concerning to me that a young man who's not overweight, who's not fat, a handsome man, who's not overweight, not obese, very concerning to me that a doctor would agree to give him, I'm just going by what he wrote on his Facebook page, a gastric sleeve surgery. Like he said, his words, basically this particular surgery is a tool to help you lose weight. During surgery, they remove 80% of your stomach. Now, did he have this operation to lose weight? Did he have this operation as a tool to help him lose weight? I don't know, because I'm going by what his words are on his post. I'm just reading what he wrote. And it's an opinion piece. I'm going to get my opinion. First off, Facebook is a public forum. You post stuff. His page is open to everyone. I post stuff. My page is open to everyone. But I find it shocking. I find it shocking that a doctor would agree to give this man an operation, to give him a tool to help lose weight. He wasn't fat. Something's wrong here. Something terribly is wrong here. And this man isn't going to be stuck with a problem that may affect him for the rest of his life assuming he lives through this. This is a very serious situation. It's not something to play with. So yesterday, his family members, I did a small post because um, I've been watching this stuff for a couple of days. And I wanted to do a YouTube video about it. I'm doing a YouTube video now. His family members, I did a post where I asked on my Facebook page, I so want to do a YouTube video about this guy's failed gastric bypass surgery. What the hell was he thinking? He almost died. Should I do a YouTube video? Yes or no? I was just trying to you know, get a feel for my uh, Facebook followers, their thoughts about the situation. Some said yes, some said no. A lot of people said, well, why did he do this? Same questions I'm asking. Why? You know what? You were not fat. You were not overweight. Now I'm just going to go into my opinions about this as a black gay man. In the black gay community, we have all these thoughts about what's attractive and what's not attractive. No facts, no fields. Must have a six pack. Got to have this, a small waistline. And it makes people do crazy things that can harm themselves. I've seen this a thousand times. If, in fact, this young man did this surgery for weight loss, which I pray and hope that this is not the reason he did it, the correct way would have been to hire a personal trainer, get signed up for a very good gym, hire you a, 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 um, a dietitian. I mean, if you want a, that six-pack look in your rock-solid abs, you want to look like the rest of these guys around, I wish, I don't care, I'm 40 some years down, I can get fucked, I got Give me some coffee and donuts, honey. You know, I can kiss my black ass, honey. I'm not going to go around here. Hmm. I'm not going to risk my life to have a dangerous surgery that has killed people just to lose some weight when you can get your ass on a treadmill. Again, this is an opinion piece. I really don't know why this man had the surgery. 
Now, his sister and I talked for about an hour or two last night. You know, black women get very emotional. She, because she's going to be going back and forth, back and forth. After that. I was going to read some of the stuff. It ain't worth it. Then they said, well, he had it because you don't know why he had this operation. Well, I'm just going by what the man posted on his Facebook page on November, what he posted uh, on this Monday. Let's go back to reading some of these posts. Cause this is a, All right, so on Saturday, he says, I'm praying that after the CAT scam coming on Tuesday, I will be done with this feeding tube. And he posted a picture with the feeding tube um, in his stomach. It's a little tube there. I look, as I look over the past five months, I am, remi I am remind reminded that even though I've gone through a hell of a experience, that there's someone that's worse off than me, and I have to keep positive thoughts and keep it moving. As of now, I've lost a total of 83, found, 83 pounds and hopefully no no more. I mean, he did post after post explaining the process. Here's a post to him from March 7. He had on some bikini shorts. He got his little bikini down. Um, I don't know if I can see that or not. Um, he did videos on February 22nd. He wrote, update, I'm still here at the hospital. I was shocked to find that I had to have an emergency surgery yesterday. I was told by my doctor that after viewing the CAT scan, they saw fluid leaking into my stomach. The surgery lost, lasted a total of five hours. I woke up to find that I have a feeding catheter hanging from my stomach. I'm in so much pain. I feel sorry for this kid. He's in so much pain. Uh, the doctor said the procedure was a new procedure that he learned from a doctor at Harvard University. Hopefully it will work for me. I will be in the hospital for the next few days. I will ask you all I need to reach out to have any questions about what's going on with me. Please reach out to my dear friend. She need to keep me in my daily prayers. Uh, did the doctor deceive this man? You know, doctors can be low down motherfuckers. Cause it's all about the dollar dollar bills, y'all. They want money. Why would this? I mean, this is very confusing to me. This man was not overweight. He was, in fact, a very handsome, attractive guy. Why was he having gastric bypass? Like, gastric sleep? I don't, I'm just, I don't know. Uh, February 12th, I'm out of the hospital and home resting. Feels good to inhale fresh, fresh air after being away for three weeks. Three weeks. I'd like to thank everyone who reached out to me via phone, text, even showed up at the hospital. You know, his, he, he's a flight attendant. He was rushed to the hospital. I'm trying to find a post where he was rushed to the hospital with some problems. Uh, maybe I've already scrolled by it. I'm just reading the stuff that he posted off his Facebook page because he would keep saying that I'm going to be sued for defamation of character. This is stuff right off his Facebook page. This is stuff this man wrote. Other than parts that I'm saying that are my questions and my opinions. I don't have any facts. I'm just The facts are right. He wrote on his Facebook page. I mean, this is what he wrote. It's like a diary, a journal of the whole situation. I hope it's a learning experience for a lot of people. It should be. <laughs> Sometimes you got to get your ass on the treadmill instead of just running around and running to the doctor's offices. Okay, on March, February 7th. Well, I have some good news. After 13 days in the hospital, I'm not being discharged to go home. He's had several hospital visits because of this operation. I will have a nurse for the next two weeks to feed me through a catheter. I have a stint around my esophagus for another week. I cannot wait to have it removed. Just imagine if having 24 hours of nonstop heartburn. This is not fun. This is horrible. February 1st, he was still in the hospital. I'm scrolling back. You know, so, you know, he's had operation after operation. You know, it's just all this over this, this, uh, uh, this was dated January 28th, 28th. Prayer warriors, this is his post. I'm asking for prayer warriors, I'm asking, prayer warriors, I'm asking for your prayers as I go under the knife for hopefully my last surgery procedure, procedure, this would be my fourth procedure, for the fourth procedure since my surgery back in November. I pray that God fix the problem as I am sick and tired of going into the hospital. I'm here at the hospital for the next six days. 
I don't know. Again, this is just my opinion. So I have a friend who died from this. I had a friend who was a bodybuilder in the early 90s. Beautiful man. Who, uh, as, was, as of the aging process, he gained some fat around his stomach area. And he had a series of operations that he should never have had because he wasn't fat. He just had a little fat around his stomach. No different than he could have went and worked it out. But he decided to go under the knife. They found this boy dead in his apartment two, two or three weeks later. Not too long after that surgery, he died. So I've always been leery about these types of doctors who rush people into a hospital to have these type of um, procedures, evasive procedures. All right, so here's where things really got bad for him on January 19th. On January 19th, he posted, um, God is good to me. I found out today that the staples that were keeping my stomach in place since in my, the staples that were keeping my stomach in place came apart somehow since my surgery, November 29th. Since the surgery, I haven't been able to keep any food down. Every time I eat, I will come back up. I was told I had septic septic or something, and I could have died. Of, but because of God's grace and mercy, somehow a piece of fat meat inside my body allowed the blood and food to sit into a pouch, avoiding leakage into my stomach. My doctor basically said he never seen anything like this before. I've been in so much pain and not able to eat any solid food since November. But thank God for his grace and mercy, I'm feeling a little bit better. Today I had another surgery to see why I'm not able to eat solid food. Solid food. The doctor had to go in to stretch my stomach so food can go down. The doctor put two large clamps around my stomach where the staples were. I am in severe pain. The doctor told me that the clamps should stay in place. But if they somehow, but if somehow it doesn't, I have to go back into surgery. I've been losing a lot of weight. The first day of surgery, he was 265 pounds. As today, he's 202 pounds. I weigh 265 pounds. I weigh 265 pounds. Well, closer to 70. I put my shoes on. Do I look fat and obese? Would a doctor put me on an operating table and give me some type of gastric operation? Something's not right here. Maybe I'm missing some pieces to this puzzle. So something's kind of bizarre here. This man was not overweight. This man was not obese. This man was not fat. This man should not have had this operation for weight loss. Now, if he had this operation for anything other than weight loss, he ain't said it yet. He convinced his doctor. Something's just out of whack here. Something's very disconcerting me because these doctors are some low down motherfuckers that only want money. And they will risk your life. I've seen this shit. And if you're young and desperate and vain, which I hope this wasn't the case with this young man, because this man is going to have a problem with this issue for the rest of his life. This isn't something that's just going to clear up tomorrow. This is going to affect him for the rest of his life, assuming he lives through this. He's still dealing with this right now. This is sad. And I hope, you know, just, uh, just, just let's go back to scroll and read. Let's try to keep stay, stay to the facts. I look amazing on the outside, but I feel like shit inside. This is what he wrote on January 19th. For those who know me that I'm a trooper and this too shall pass. Thanks for all the prayers and well wishes. Well, I really need prayer for this for my mental state. Imagine yourself not being able to eat food since November 29th. All I've been doing is drinking water, ice, no food of all. I'm mentally unstable. Mm. Mm -mm. It's sad. Something's not right here. I mean, if, if, if this doctor did this for weight loss, the, the doctor needs to be sued. This doctor should be hauling the court and sued his license revoked. Because the surgery, this man was not overweight. This surgery is designed to help people lose weight who are obese. Not somebody who can get on a treadmill like my fat ass, fat ass. Put my fat ass on a treadmill, have me run up and down a parking lot. That's how you lose weight. I'm 265. Okay, 270. I ain't too 80. I was. 
So I'm reading this stuff and reading this stuff and reading this stuff. So again, this is just an opinion piece. And I'm not trying to attack this young man because I think this young man probably didn't know any better if he had the surgery for weight loss. Because doctors can convince you into all kinds of stuff. That's why when I had surgery on my chest, I went to five different doctors. And, and here's the funny part. I'm going from doctor to doctor to doctor. And they all looked at me. I was like 330 pounds at this point. They were all like, okay, your blood pressure's high. Your weight's too high. You got to bring this shit down. All every one of those doctors told me the same thing. So it took me a year and a half before I could have surgery on my chest to get the weight down to the acceptor. I, I went down to 200 and about 45 pounds before I had that surgery on my chest and to get my blood pressure down. And actually the day of the surgery, my blood pressure was a tad bit still too high and they had to do some stuff to bring my blood pressure down so I, I wouldn't die on the damn operating table. I remember asking the doctor, are you sure it's okay? He was like, yeah, it's okay. Don't worry. Your blood pressure's not that high. We will bring it down and you will be fine. Thank God I need to come do that surgery. Okay. But this is, again, this is just my thoughts, my opinions. Um, a, da a dangerous surgery, you know, that could possibly kill you is not the way to lose weight, If assuming if this is what took place. But anyway. Again, Antonio Wilson, I wish you well. I hope you made the right decision. I hope everything gets better. I hope that things improve. I hope that the situation will help you. I just, I, I just know that it's going to have, a, it's going to affect you for the rest of your life, at least for the next year or so, or, or for the next few years. This is an operation that's very serious. Your doctor, I don't, I don't really don't understand know the, the whole details of why he chose the, this operation for you if, if it was done for weight loss. I don't know. Anyway, like my videos, please click like. Give me y'all's opinions about this. What happened here? What took place? What? I mean, I'm just, this is just an opinion piece. I have a lot of questions because I'm concerned about this young man. A lot of people view me as the bad guy. But I'm not the bad guy. I'm just a person who's concerned about people in our community and the things that we do that harm us in a certain way and people that we allow to harm us, like doctors. Anyway, I'm out of here again. This is a long ass video, but today is Wednesday. It is the 15th of March, 2017. I'm out of here. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. I'm out. Let's do something productive today. And um, give me your thoughts and your opinions. And I'm out.